So in this video, I want to show you my configuration in PyCharm, which makes it work better with TK Enter. Hi, my name is Jobin, and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi, and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome. Let me show you an example. So I'm just going to create a, a simple window with a TTK label in it. And, and watch what happens. So import TK enter as TK from TK enter import TTK root equal TK dot TK root dot main loop. So, so this is essentially just your standard code for TK enter. So I'm going to create a label, label test, put it in root, text equal, this is just a test, this is the second line, and we'll just use pack. Okay, so when we run this, this is essentially what it looks like. Watch what happens when I, when I try to stop it using the stop button in PyCharm. So I'm just going to run that again. And we can see that the application is running in uh, debug mode. But if I try to stop it, you'll notice I'll, I'll have to click on it twice in order for it to stop. So I'm going to click on it once now, which I did, but it actually just took a few seconds. Well, if I wanted to end the program quickly, I have to click on it twice. So one, two, and then it closes the application. Um, so I'll run that. I'll run that for you again. So the first time I try to stop it, it actually takes a few seconds. On a count of three, I'm going to click on stop. One, two, three. Still running. Still running. It's still running. Oh, this time it's not going to close, it seems. Yeah. Oh, I actually, it kept on running until I moved my mouse pointer towards the application, and then it all of a sudden just, just stopped. So you can instantly see there's something weird going on. Like when I, when I try to stop my TK Enter application by clicking on the stop button in PyCharm, it doesn't actually stop my application right away. I either have to click on it twice or I have to click on it once and then move my mouse over to that TK enter window and then it'll close it'll close the window. So what I found is when you go to run and edit configurations there's an option here that says emulate terminal in output console. I'm just going to enable that and watch the difference. Okay, so let's run that program again. It's running. So now if I click on the stop button, watch what happens on a count of three. One, two, three. It stopped like immediately. As soon as I clicked on stop, like that was it. My application just exited. So I thought that's actually very useful because every once in a while, I'll, I'll want to stop my application, not by closing my own application from the window manager, but through PyCharm. Um, another advantage that this gives you is when you try to restart your program uh, through PyCharm, it actually restarts considerably faster. Uh, let me show you that too. So I'm going to turn that feature off so that it's back to what it was before. So now if I click on debug and if I hit stop, it won't. But if I click on it again and then it stops. But watch what happens when I try to restart my application. So now it's running, and if I try to restart it by clicking on rerun on a count of three, watch what happens. One, two, three. It's still trying to rerun it. Oh, I think it's still stuck, unless I move my mouse pointer to it. Yeah, yeah, so it's the same thing. If I move my mouse pointer to it, then it restarts. So it's doing that weird thing again. So if I re-enable 
that option. Um, run, edit configurations, emulate terminal in output console. And if I run my application, and now if I try to re, uh, rerun it, watch what happens. I'll, I'll, I'll rerun it on a count of three. One, two, three. That's it. That was quick. I can just do it over and over again. And it's almost instantaneous. So I just thought I would show that to you. And if you've ever noticed that with your own PyCharm and, and with your own applications, hopefully that, that'll help. Well, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, uh, click on like and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.